Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ken, I'm a survivor, and this is my new kitchen. We got new appliances today. Super excited to use them. Alright guys, so I was watching Facebook, right? And the more I watch Facebook, the more I see ads. Well, I saw this ad. I don't know if you guys know what this is. This is Delicio, and it is like a vegan chicken. Um, basically, it's super good. You can make it in pasta sauces, uh, meatballs, kebabs, salads, tacos, nachos, etc., etc. Um, so I'm super excited about that. It is 100% vegan, GMO free, and soy free. Woo! And it's pretty simple. So I want to shout out to um, Tabitha Brown because Tabitha Brown, when I saw you make this recipe, I was blown away. I was like, oh my god, I cannot wait till I order this and make this recipe. All right, so here's what we do. All it says is combine the contents with the 240 milliliters of water and one tablespoon of oil and mix thoroughly. Simple, right? Then you can shape it into anything you want. Like I said, meatballs, stir fry cubes, and burger patties. Today we're actually going to make tacos like Tampa the Brown did. So here we go. Yep, I'm going to put the water in first. Okay. Oh, you know what? I need a tablespoon. Hold on one second, guys. Stay with me. Stay with me. I'm right here. Right here. Um, hey, where's the frying pan? Do you know? <clears throat> okay, over here. Sorry guys, new kitchen, so... New appliances and all that. <sighs> Alright. This is my favorite. This, oh, we got over here. This is my favorite. I swear to God, I cook everything with this. Alright. So, the recipe says... So we need to add oil to the pan and fry to a medium heat until golden brown. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add the oil now to get the like pan going up and get in at really good heat. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start this. Okay, and we're gonna go with medium heat. So we're gonna go with like a four. That's a lot of oil. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let this heat up over here a little bit, and then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna do a tablespoon of olive oil because I love olive oil, and 240 milliliters. Milli oh, that's hard to say. 243. <laughs> I said it wrong. 240 milliliters of water, and we're gonna put it in here, and it says to stir. Are we having a whisk? It's in the second door. Right. There we go. Perfect. That's better. Whisking is better, guys. Okay, so I mixed that thoroughly. Okay. Now I'm gonna. I don't know, guys. I think they're. How does it smell like chicken? No, seriously, it smells like they smell this. It's... It smells like cereal to me. Huh? It smells like cereal to me. Oh, uh, well. Okay, so I guess we just throw it in there. By the way, you can get one of these boxes right here off of delicio.com, and that is about $9.99. Just to let you know how big it is. Okay. <clears throat> how long did it take to get to the house? Huh? How long did it take to get here? Oh, it did take him. It really wasn't that bad. Maybe about three weeks. Um, it is coming from Australia, I believe. So, yeah. You guys. I, I haven't ate chicken in a really, really long time. But let me tell you something. This reminds me of a shredded chicken. It smells like shredded chicken. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so it doesn't come with any seasoning, so I'm gonna go ahead and season. Um, to the liking, just want to get this off. Ooh, come on out, come on out, come on, come on, little. Yes, I've washed my hands. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, definitely. If you're a cook and you're cooking something, you definitely should be washing your hands. Okay. So like I said, it, well, you know, let me wash my hands real quick. <clears throat> Stay with me, guys. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. Hey, get down. My dog likes to jump up on the table. Um, probably my fox I put a chair there. Um, okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and get some garlic powder because why not? I love garlic powder. Um, for some reason, we got like a garlic powder thing like this. See how it comes out like that, but usually they're like holes. It's not like that. See, it's either a big hole or a small hole. Your choice. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put about that much garlic in it because why not? Because I love garlic. Love garlic. I'm not going to put any salt in because I just don't like salt. Um, no, I should just be able to like cook that and see what see what um, comes out. And if we like it like this, you know, if we don't, we can always season it, you know, when we want to. Here we go. So this is the big reveal. I'm going to go ahead and take this right here and I'm going to go ahead and dump it in here. Okay, just like this. Okay, future reference guys, do not use a whisk with this because it just doesn't really do anything. It's stuck. Alright, so that's going to go ahead and cook on medium heat. And I'm going to get a spatula. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just cook this. And what you do is you cook it to it is brown, okay? Or basically it looks like shredded chicken while you're cooking on the ground. Or cooking on the stove. This is a beautiful stove, isn't it? It's an LG stove, right? Two um, ovens. It's, yeah, it's amazing. I can't wait to use it. By the way, I don't know if you see this in the corner. You guys know what this is? This is Vita Wheat Gluten. And this, I will be uh, making some steaks and a whole bunch of other stuff. I do want to try some steak sauce with Bosch. Um, Bosch TV, I think it is. Um, they made this really amazing steak. Um, so I'm going to definitely look into that and how to make that. Also, off of the channel, it doesn't taste like chicken because it's amazing. It, well, it looks amazing. I've never actually had it. So we're about to find out, though. Um, okay. So, yeah, if you guys don't know what this is, again, it is Delicio. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing it right. Everybody else pronounces it as Delicio. So, this is what we're doing. And if I'm not pronouncing it right, definitely hit me up in the comments and let me know. It does have 20 grams of protein. Super, super, super excited about this. Um, I have been waiting for, like, the longest time for this to, like, come in the mail. And I was like, ah, it's Saturday. I might as well, like, go check it out, you know, see if, uh, you know, basically if it came. I was like, eh, probably not, though, because I never got a message telling me, you know, that it actually arrived. Um, but that's okay. <laughs> so, here we go. So, and don't worry if it's, like, you know, burning a little bit. Definitely just go ahead and add some more oil to it. Um, see how this is? I'm just going to let it sit there for, ooh, ooh, look at that, that brownness. See this brownness, guys? What? No way. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> this is... Huh? I mean, I shouldn't be using plastic stuff on the girl. <laughs> well, I guess I could go get, um, like, a, an iron one or... Not iron, whatever it's called. Aluminum. Aluminum. I'll go get an aluminum. So I'll put this back. Um... Tabitha Brown has her um, spatula and she names it, I think, Sheila. I'm pretty sure it's Sheila. Um, I was thinking about actually naming my utensils, but eh, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> but yeah, ta if you guys don't know who Tabitha Brown is, definitely go check her out. She's freaking amazing. She makes food and you're just like, that's vegan? I'm like, yes, that's vegan. Because I've made so many of her, her recipes. I've made so many of uh, It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken's recipes. i made Beef For Real's recipes. Oh, I love it. I love it. If you guys don't know who they are, um, definitely check them out. I'll go ahead and try to link their um, 
like YouTube channel on the bottom or in my bio or in you know uh, in the about me section here. Um, so yeah, so this is cooking up. It's cooking up pretty good. I'm just gonna go ahead and lower it a little bit. I am gonna go ahead and put some more garlic in it. This is the garlic I use, just because I love garlic. Why not? <clears throat> All right, that's a little bit too much, but you know what? Never too much garlic, right? I know you can have too much garlic. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue on, guys. We also got these, but I don't know if I'm about trying these. These are um, chicken sauce vegan right here. This is the barbecue. Um, this is the original chicken sauce vegan right here. And here's the lime. We got the whole package. Yeah, we did. And then we have the red pepper. Dun, 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 dun. This is kind of spicy, but if you're used to spice, it's probably not spicy to you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and look at my uh, spices here. Because I don't really know what to put in. I want to put in some stuff. Um, let's see. We can do... I'm going off the top of my head, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do um, some Italian set seasoning because why not? I love it. You know. We're gonna go ahead and do um, paprika, and we'll do smoked pepper. You know, we'll just do a paprika just for the flavor, or I mean for the flavor for the for the look there. Um, and then once I'm done. I don't like salt, so I'm not going to go ahead and salt this. I really don't want to salt this, you know? Um, I have this on a an Ultra Heat 2 right now. So, if anybody knows anything about this, uh, oh geez. Um, yeah, I got it on a 2. You guys, this is it's cooking. We're going to show you the finished product here in a little bit. All right. Alright guys, so we're back. It is done cooking. Look at this brownness. Can you clean it a little bit closer and see, ch see the chick brownness to it? How like chicken, you know, browns basically when it cooks. You guys, this is definitely, definitely a step up. Uh, Delicio, I'm super, super excited to try this. Um, okay, so, get that. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and bring it over here. And as you can see, we have it all set up. We're having tacos today. I know it's not Taco Tuesday, have up the brown, but it's Saturday. <laughs> so we have our guacamole. Yes, this is homemade guacamole. Um, this is homemade uh, salsa verde. Um, of course, homemade uh, rice um, with the homemade pico. Everything's homemade in this house, I swear. And then we have our tortillas. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to grab a tortilla. Yes. Uh, I need some. I need something to scoop the uh, guacamole with. Down, dog. Canela. My baby. <laughs> Down, buddy. Okay. So I love guacamole. So I'm just gonna go ahead and boom. Cause I love it. Cause I want it. The more I love it, the more way I like it. And if I like it, then that's just how I'm gonna eat it. So anyway, so I'm going to take some of this, and I'm going to go ahead and put some of this. I'm going to put my condiments down first, or my size first, um, just because that's the way I like it, right? Um, so here we go. I'm going to take some of this. We're going to go ahead and layer it. <clears throat> We're going to put some more pico, because I love pico. Who loves pico? I think everybody loves pico. And we're going to take a line to do the finishing touch. Can you guys see this? Can you see that dripping? Mmm. Yeah, I cannot wait. Alright. So, <laughs> get hungry. So, we're going to go ahead and make our tacos. And you're going to see the finished review. Alright. Okay, guys. Once again, this is Delicio. Delicio, I am falling in love with your product, and I can't wait to try that bacon seasoning. Of course, vegan bacon seasoning. But here we go. This is going to be the first try. 
I'm super excited. I don't know if you guys can know or how many times I've said I'm super excited, but I'm super excited. Here we go. Ready? That is so good, and it tastes like chicken to me. I'm speechless, guys. I I don't know what to say to that. Um, this is so good. Wow. Um, and you can do so much with it too. You can like make it into meatballs. You can make it into chicken burgers. You can make it into like chicken. Uh, what is that? What's that stuff? It's uh, chicken and dumplings. Um, you can make it in a whole bunch of different things. So, sorry, I'm going to have to take another bite because it's that good. You know when food's good, right? Food is good when you take a bite out of it and you just have to freaking like start dancing. Yes. Yes. Yes, Delicio. Yes, Delicio. Yes to this taco. Yes to this world. Thank you, God. It is amazing. Um, and just a minute, I'm gonna let you um, show you uh, Fidel's reaction towards it. Let me just take some of it out of the pot because there's a lot of guacamole in mine. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna eat it with a fork. Okay. Because I can't get enough flavor out of it. I could. The pico mess and the chicken. Right. Get some of the brown mess too, though. It's not brown. Okay. No, actually not that bad. It tastes like chicken? It tastes good, but... Yay! All right. It has a very light chicken taste to me. Okay. But it can pass. Oh, you guys, you have the review for me. You got the review from Fidel. I hope you loved it. I hope you try Delicio. It's amazing. You can get it at delicio.com. Um, I'm gonna have to take another bite. Love you guys. Thanks for watching Cooking with Ken. Oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. Um, hit the like button. Send me a comment. Let me know what you think. All right, guys. Love ya. Hey.